All right, and we're recording. Hey, gang, Andy here, coming at you pook, with my April 2016 update video for, you guessed it, April 2016. Woo. So as always with these uh, monthly update videos, I'm going to be going over some YouTube stuff as well as personal life stuff. So let's begin. And uh, I'm in my car right now here at uh, Western Michigan before classes start, and I'm in a bit of a talkative mood, so that's why I'm recording this on my phone in my car instead of at home on uh, my camera setup and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so starting off with youtube stuff, um, this month uh, is uh, finals month, so I'm going to be very busy with that for the next couple weeks until May rolls around. And, uh, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, new videos for me this month, sadly, but uh, I got other things that I'm working on in my own personal life, so that's why. And uh, But there are going to be videos. Um, there's going to be uh, re-uploaded episodes as well as uh, re-uploaded Andy Kate episodes. So the uh, re-uploaded Andy Kate episodes should be finishing up around, uh, I think, like mid-May of this year. So once that happens, then you're going to be getting new episodes of Andy Cade and uh, stuff like that. Now, as far as the re-uploads go, I don't know how far out um, they'll go. Um, I predicted about a year, but uh, I'm not for sure about that. So uh, basically, I'll just be like re-uploading everything from my previous channel, uh, my Andy San channel. And uh, once that's all done, then uh, I'll be, uh, depending on what my schedule's like, I'll either be going back to a two episode a day channel or you know, maybe a one episode a day channel, I'm not 100% yet, <laughs> haven't, haven't really gotten that far, and uh, we have plenty of uh, episodes, you know, plenty of re-uploads and stuff like that to deal with before we even think about something like that, it's going to be a long, long time in the future, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, and uh, I know there are some people out there who are kind of wondering, you know, why I'm bothering with the whole re-upload thing, and, you know, I've mentioned it before in my uh, previous uh, update videos, but I figured I'd just let you guys know here as well. So the reason behind the re-uploads is uh, twofold. Um, one of them is to give my newer viewers a chance to see my old content again. And I know that, like, people could be like, well, why can't you they just, like, uh, search your old channel and watch the videos if they want to see the old stuff? You know, eh, I mean, they could. I mean, maybe not now because I enlisted everything. But uh, a lot of people don't really want to take the time to uh, search a lot of my older stuff. So, you know, I figured um, just, you know, put it up there for the newer viewers to see. And they'll be like, oh, you know, so that's what he used to do back in the day. And so it's kind of a nice little, like, throwback surprise, I guess. And also, because the uh, YouTube algorithm favors daily uploads. So I figured I have all this um, inventory of content available for the past, from the past, like, 10 years of being on YouTube. So, you know, why not uh, take advantage of that, right? So uh, I uh, uploaded everything to my The Andy San channel. And I'm just going to be slowly releasing it um, daily. So when that runs out, then I'll you know switch back to doing uh, new videos. But uh, I figured just take advantage of it for you know if anything for the algorithm. So you know there's that. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for YouTube for this month. And that's not to say that there's not going to be any new videos for this month. But uh, I wouldn't expect any new videos for this month. Is Pretty much all I'm saying. So there's that. Now let's get into uh, some personal life stuff. So I kind of talked about at the uh, beginning of this episode uh, the reason why I'm not doing uh, new episodes of anything on YouTube for this month, and that's because it's finals month here at uh, Western Michigan. So it's the last month of the semester, and you know, wrapping up classes and stuff like that. So I have to. Uh, work on uh, final projects as well as uh, study for finals, which is pretty much the only time I'm going to be studying because, you know, most I'm, I'm not really much of a studier, to be honest. You know, most of the time, if I take really good notes, it's kind of ingrained in my brain for the most part. So if I would study, it'd basically be like a little uh, refresher at uh, the beginning of class. So that way it's fresh in my brain and then just kind of go from there. I don't know. There's something I've been, you know, just really uh, debating with myself about, and that is 
Um, should I have just waited until the fall of this year to enroll? And, you know, I've, if you guys have been following me on like Twitter and stuff like that, you probably know a lot of the uh, issues that I've been having uh, this past semester. And, you know, it hasn't been an easy transition for me going from uh, Navy back to uh, civilian life again. And it's been really hard. And I didn't think it would be hard because, you know, I was never really super duper Joe Navy while I was in. I was very casual, very civilian like, or so I thought. But, you know, it's one thing to um, just kind of come home and uh, be amongst your people for a week or two and then go back into the thick of things. And then, you know, it's completely different from going from that environment to this is your life now. There is no going back to Navy life again. You know, that that ship has sailed, you know, <laughs> pardon the pun. But uh, so there's that and uh, just transitioning into a job, which I've been looking for for the past four months, you know, over four months, actually, because I actually moved out here in December. But in between Christmas and all that kind of stuff, a lot of a lot of things happened. So you know, we'll just say like January when the semester began. And so, you know, because I've been out for so long, um, I burned through my savings, you know, not only buying this car, which I'm very thankful I did. And I actually planned on buying a vehicle when I got out here. So that was expected. But you know, just moving expenses, living expenses until the GI Bill kicked in. And then once I got my tax return, you know, it covered for that. And, you know, I've been selling a lot of my things on eBay in order to help cover uh, costs because we had a couple breaks here and there. And uh, when you're on the GI Bill, um, any kind of break when you're not in school, the uh, the GI Bill doesn't cover for those days. So if you have spring break, that's a week less of uh, benefits that you get for that month. It's, you know, beneficial to have months where you don't have breaks. So, you know, for me, it's like kind of motivation for me to go to school and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I figured it would be super easy for me to find a job out here, even if it was just a little part-time gig. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not looking for a full-time job here because... You know, I'm, I'm focusing mostly on school, or at least that's the plan. But uh, this whole job situation has just got me uh, just all kinds of messed up right now. So, um, like, it's, you know, stressed me out because I'm broke pretty much. I spent the last 20 bucks I have on food for the rest of this month and uh, running low on gas. So I don't know if I'm even going to make it to class for the next two weeks. And it's just, it's, it's very stressful right now for me. So hopefully I land a gig soon because, you know, this is getting close to the summertime for Kalamazoo. So a lot of kids are going to be going home for the summer. They're not going to be sticking around here. So a lot of um, places are going to need people to cover for those shifts that the college kids used to have. And uh, stuff like that. And I've, I've gotten a couple interviews over the past couple months. And I thought that they were very positive. You know, I thought that I did a really good job. I presented myself very professionally, um, answered the questions as best I could and stuff like that. But I've received no callbacks as of yet. So it's just, just one of those things, you know. And uh, I go in for another interview today as well at a uh, a coffee shop here in Kalamazoo. I'm not going to not going to mention the name because, you know, I don't know who's listening. But I'm going in for an interview at a coffee shop today and hopefully it goes well. Hopefully I get a call back or something like that. But uh we'll see. And uh you know, a lot of uh, I don't know, I just I just been doing a lot of thinking and trying to talk to people on Facebook about these situations, but, you know, I haven't really talked to anybody who had a real problem in transitioning because it seemed so easy for them because they always had people to fall back on. But for me, I don't have anybody out here. And then talking to a lot of my vet friends, my veteran friends who, 
you know, either recently got out or have gotten out over the past couple of years, you know, the recurring thing with them is, you know, they had, you know, either their wives or husbands, kids, stuff like that to fall back on to, you know, so if they were feeling bad emotionally, they had that to fall back on. And it just seemed like they didn't have any problems transitioning. It was just kind of easy peasy, you know, like, of course, I'm a civilian now. Uh, it just seemed so easy for them to trans transition. And I thought it was going to be fairly easy for me too, but you know, it's just, it's just been hard and there's really no jobs out here. And, you know, I, I expected it because, Hey, it's Michigan. It's the friggin' black hole of the unemployment universe here in America. But I figured, you know, being a college town, at least, you know, this would be the exception to the rule because there's a lot of job opportunities out here for college students. And I figured I'd be able to get something, you know, because, you know, when I went to Bowling Green before I joined the Navy, it was so easy for me to find work, find a place and just everything flowed. And that's the one thing that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of curious about is the lack of flow. Now, I'm not expecting everything to just be handed to me on a silver fucking platter, but you know, there's, like I said, just a flow and a rhythm and just everything just kind of, I ran into problems before, of course, but, uh, it just, like I said, it just had a, a rhythm and a flow to it. So it's just like when you ran into problems, it's like, oh, okay. You know, even the problems that you encountered seemed very easy to overcome because you were in such a rhythm, a groove, whatever you want to call it. You were in the zone, I guess. I don't know that you know, you were able to tackle the problems with relative ease. But here it's just, I don't have that. You know, I just seem so out of step here. And so I've just been wondering, like, you know, is this even the right college for me? You know, is this the right place for me? Am I in the right major? Because I figured, like, you know, there's got to be something wrong. And, uh, you know, i just been doing a lot of thinking and stuff, and, uh, I don't know, man, like, uh, you know, I might end up changing majors or something like that, because one of the things I wanted to do was, uh, to get a bit more serious about making videos, and maybe learn how, you know, the big production studios do things, and so that way, you know, if YouTube were to fall off the fa face of the planet within the next couple of years, that I would at least have some skills to fall back on to where I can still get employed somewhere or at least transfer those skills to whatever the next new platform is in social media or whatever. So, I mean, there's that. But also, like, IT work is and always will be um, really profitable and, you know, you get a lot of money for doing that sort of thing. But I don't know. You know, obviously happiness should be first, but, you know, if you got a film degree, I mean, the degree doesn't really mean anything. It's just, it's all about the connections and people that you've worked with, really. And that, that goes for any degree, really. I mean, aside from maybe like, you know, medical degrees, doctorates. I'm talking about undergrad here. We're not getting into like the graduate degrees. <laughs> but, um, yeah, for the most part... With a few exceptions. You know, the degree doesn't really matter. It's the connections that you get from it. And so I've been thinking, like, maybe changing majors or something like that. And it's just, I don't know. This whole thing has just been really stressful. And I just, I don't know what I'm doing, you know. And I hope I manage to land a job soon because that will, that will help out tremendously. But I'm just wondering if that is the issue. And if this isn't just, you know, something more, that this isn't just like a, a symptom of a greater problem that I'm going through in transitioning. And I'm just wondering, like, maybe I should have just waited until the fall of this year to start class. So that way I'd have more, more of a break, more time to um, just decompress from being in the military, more time to hunt for a job, more time to find a place. I mean, I'm happy with where I'm at right now, place-wise. You know, it's in a nice neighborhood. 
Um, I got enough room. I don't have gobs, but it's enough to get by on. And uh, it's nice, clean, stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I just, there's a lot of wondering and doubt. And I know people are going to be like, well, stop thinking about it, you know? You think too much about it. Smoke weed, I don't know. But <laughs> I would, but the lease doesn't allow me to, so yeah. And Michigan's one of the states that still punishes that sort of thing. So, sorry Californians, can't do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And of course, that's another option, you know, move to California. But that's not really an option because I don't have any fucking money. And I don't know where this video is going right now. It's just kind of me rambling on. And uh, I think I got to get to class here soon. So, with that said, this is the Andy Sun. Sign up for now. Thinking you guys poop for tuning into this rambly, ranty, ravey, whatever, unfocused vlog update video. Um, it's at least a bit shorter than most of these update videos, right? So, I mean, there's that. But uh, and, in any event, thanks for tuning in to this video. And uh, if you have any suggestions, um, especially if you're like a transitioning vet and, you know, you may have had some problems when you first got out, you know, I'm, I'm all ears for, uh, for suggestions as far as how to cope with um, just dealing with a lot of these things because I don't know how long I'm going to last at this school because I don't know how good my GPA is right now because all this shit has started to really affect me and I think... You know, a lot of bad things are on the way if I don't get my shit together. But um, in any event, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Watch some other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for uh, liking, and thumbs, commenting, subscribing. Send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.